the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to game news, before we get to the schedule, I think it's time for us to do a little segment that I like to call Phil's Day Off. Let's talk about what I did yesterday on my day off, shall we? Because we actually have some interesting and positive updates to give you guys, all right? First of all, yesterday was a very busy day um, where I was absolutely running around doing errands all day long, okay? Um, as you can see, I got a haircut was one of the errands that I did out of many. We had to restock the house because we had actually been out of a lot of commodity products, like paper products and things like that. So we had to go like Costco and many other things. So we were out and about for a very large portion of the day. And it was tiring to do that. But the weather was nice. It was actually sunny and cool. So we had some good weather for it. Um, while we were out, is there anything notable to really mention from when we were out? Uh, just a couple of things. First thing, we just happened to be at the local mall because we were going to actually eat dinner there. And... We happen to just walk into Sears, okay? Now, for those who don't know, Sears or Sears Roebuck and Company is one of the longest-running department stores in the United States of America. At one point, they were huge. They were synonymous with, like, the big shopping experiences in the United States. You had Sears, you had Macy's, you know, those kind of ginormous department stores. And <clears throat> some people in chat, very rightly so, are saying, Sears? Sears is still open? Yes and no, Okay. Yes and no, right? Um, basically, Sears is on its way out and going out of business, all right? But there's three locations left, and my local mall has one of them. So we, had, my wife and I hadn't been in Sears in like a couple of years, actually. I think last time we were in Sears, we were, we were, I think we were looking for slippers for me in like the fall because my slippers had worn out and we know that department stores are sometimes places that seasonally have them. And we had gone in there. And even then, like two years ago when we had gone in there, they were massively understaffed. They barely had, you know, like the product was very disorganized, right? The store was in shambles. So we go in there just on a whim to see what is, what is Sears like today. Wow. Is all I have to say. So we go into this Sears, and at the door is exercise equipment. Now, this doesn't make sense. This is the ground level of the mall, where any department store on ground level is supposed to have all their clothing and everything, you know, their high-end products. You walk in, it's just a bunch of exercise equipment. Huh? And then we look past that, and there's appliances. But then we look past that, and there's one row of shoes. And then we look over here, and there's some clothes. And then over here, we see jewelry. On the back wall, we see tool chests. We're like, what? Like, what is going on? So we actually walk further into the store and we realize half the store is closed off, roped off, and completely empty. They used to have a big shoe department in the back. It's gone. They've blocked the entire department off. It doesn't exist anymore. The whole left-hand side of the store is taped off with that yellow hazard tape saying, do not cross. <clears throat> like, holy shit. The whole kiosk we're used to check out and customer service removed from the store doesn't exist anymore. Okay? Like, wow, what on earth? So we're like, well, I wonder what's on the other floors. We walk up to the escalator. The escalator up is closed, broken, and they're not going to fix it. The only way to get from floor to floor in the store is to use an old rickety elevator. <laughs> and I was like, well, I would like to use the rickety elevator, but Kat actually looked at it and was like, I really don't want to use it. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, I'm actually terrified that elevator is going to break on the way up or down. How are you? <laughs> She's fat, dude. And I welcome you here to the show. The oh, my Lord. As I already have Jasper. Because the way this store looks, like it looks like this is a store on, on, its, on life support. Like it's going to die any second. And I don't want to go in there and be the story on the news that people got stuck in this year's elevator. And I was like, all right, well, I guess we won't then. Because I wanted to actually see if there was stuff on the other floor. Because the thing is, if clothes, shoes, tool chests, appliances, and exercise equipment are all on one floor, what else could be in there? I know that they have, like, housewares and, like, bedding. So that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe there's housewares, bedding, and maybe, like, not, like uh, under underwear and stuff, like, on one other floor. And that's it. They used to be three floors. Sears used to be, like, 
the one-stop shop back in the day, they had everything. I mean, anything you could think of for your house was at Sears. Even electronics. They would sell electronics, games, consoles, stuff like that. Music systems, TVs, um, you know, all the appliances in your home. Yeah, the tools and stuff like that. Housewares. You all your, you buy all your stuff for your kitchen in there. Uh, everything for your bathroom in there. Your bedding. Everything. Like, they literally had everything in there. Lawnmowers. Yeah. They had everything you could think of. It was everything at Sears. Big, prominent company. And... They somehow managed to run themselves so far into the ground, they're not coming back. I mean, that was like, it literally reminds you of like going to like a hospital, right? And going to see people who are sadly are on the end of their life and they're on life support just sitting there saying their last goodbyes to people. That's what it feels like walking into the Sears. I was like, oh my God. Like, I can't believe it. Because again, I go on to Sears my whole life. When I was growing up, I would go to Sears with my parents and it was a vibrant store full of stuff. I was like, what the fuck happened? How did they fail, fall that far? They used to have the Sears Wish Book. Does anyone remember the Sears Wish Book at all? This used to be at the end of the year. Sears would send out a catalog to your house. And it would have all the awesome products that were available for sale at Sears in a one thing where it lists them all. And the whole purpose of this catalog was that you and your family members would go through the catalog and select things you're interested in as a Christmas present. So you would give it to your family members, but also other people in your family would do it, and you would exchange wish lists. They had to call it the wish book wish list. I did it every year. So my mom would give me the wish book and say, well, anything in here you like for Christmas? I was like, I want this action figure. I'd be interested in this game. Now, the thing was, you didn't know half the time what the stuff was. It was it, like some photographer would come in and like film the action figures posing and stuff. Um, and the games, forget it. I, I actually distinctly remember games would have the wrong screenshots. It would be like, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it would be a screenshot of like Mega Man. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so obviously they didn't have the best editors or whatever. People that weren't into all the stuff they were selling. But they had everything. They had like, again... Things that you would not think. Guns. There were guns in that. There were, there, you know, knives. Like, things that kids shouldn't see were all in this wish book. It was just for the whole family. Everyone would select what they want for Christmas. And you could either mail order it or you could go to the physical Sears store near you and buy it as a Christmas present. This was part of Americana. This was a major part of American culture, a tradition everyone was doing around Christmas every year. And now Sears is dead. It's like... How do you go from being that prominent that you're actually a part of most people's American Christmas lives and traditions to not existing in the span of like 30 years? That's wild to me. Like what a hor horrible mismanagement. If anything, it just shows they did not know how to hang with the internet age. As soon as the internet came out and everyone started doing stuff online, they just, pfft, that was the end of that. Um, but anyway, uh, so that was eye-opening and shocking. Tipping me helps me more than anything.